Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Opayemi Goddess and if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. For my returning subscribers, thank you for sticking to this channel. So on this channel, I talk about love, relationships, marriage, lifestyle, nursing and basically everything fun. If you like any of the things I've mentioned, please endeavor to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to share. Anyways guys, today I'll be talking about the major tests that should be carried out before you get married. So let's just get into the the business of today so guys I believe that there are five major tests that should be carried out before getting married however there are like a thousand and one other tests that you may want to carry out on your own I feel all medical tests are important just that some are just slightly more important than the other so today I'll just be like talking about the five major ones that in my own opinion I feel that are more important than other. so guys the first test that I I, I seriously feel that should come um, first on the list of the tests that should be done before getting married is a genotype test and um, I know a lot of us have heard about this over and over again but you'll be so amazed to know that some people still don't take this thing seriously like they hear about um genotype about the fact that if you're AS you should um, endeavor not to marry someone who is also AS and um, preferably you marry someone who is AA if you know you're AS people hear all these things a lot of times and they still do not take it seriously guys I want to believe that it would be so cruel it would be so unfair of you to deliberately and intentionally bring um sick children to the world i feel that it's just so unfair and um it's just so inappropriate like you know that your as you know your partner or your husband to be or your wife to be is also as and then you still want to go ahead and then get married because you have every possibility like you have a very high chance of having children that will end up being um ss meaning that um you might actually have children that will live with sickle cell anemia for the rest of their lives so i don't think it is a very wise decision to make guys um by all means please do not take that step if you know your as and your partner is also as please try as much as possible not to go ahead and get married if that is your situation so you want to go for a genotype test to be sure of your genotype i also know some people go for the test and they get wrong results and then they will still go ahead and marry someone who is AS because maybe they, they thought that they are actually like AA. I know in some situations that um, it was never deliberate. It was maybe like a medical error. Guys, I want to believe that if you've ever queried your genotype, if you've ever had any reason to query your genotype, I think you should have a recheck. Go ahead and check again to be sure that you are indeed AA. Like if you've always known that you're AA, but you have a, a little bit of doubt, I would just want to advise that you go for another test just to be sure of um, your genotype or even if you're AA you have no doubt but the person you're planning to get married to is AS guys I just believe that you both should go for another test just one more test just it won't, it won't cost you anything just go for one more test you know to to be sure that truly you are AA and truly the person is AS it's just better to be safe than sorry so guys checking your genotype is actually very very essential and uh, I just feel that People don't take it seriously enough and um, please guys let's just endeavor to take it seriously once you're engaged and um, I even know people that before they even get committed to someone that's like the first thing they get to ask whoever they meet before they even you know like fall in love with the person so I want to like suggest the same thing if you know that your genital type is AS you know before you even start falling in love with someone ask the person right there and then what their genital type is if they don't know their genital type encourage them to go for um um, a check just to know their genotype because it's easier to cut off a relationship before you guys like are so committed to each other and that's why some people who are like AS and their partner is also AS that's why they find it so difficult to end a relationship because because they're already like committed to each other they've gone a long long way and it's so difficult to break up the relationship so far you're not yet married I believe it is still the right time to end a relationship if you find out that you are AS and your partner is also AS. Guys, the second test that should be done before you get married is your blood group. And some people might think, why should I check my blood group? Why is it essential? Like, 
it's not like it's going to have any effect on the kind of children that would have or if you would have um, sick children or not guys I'm going to elaborate on this and explain further so you understand why checking your blood group is also as important as checking your genotype so guys if for instance you're like O positive and your partner is like O negative okay so let me just bring it down that the positive or negative behind your blood group is called the resource factor so for instance if you're that's a B negative as a woman and maybe your husband is O positive for instance the positive and the negative is the resource factor in this context so as a woman if you're resource negative and your partner is resource positive there's every possibility anyways you have like 50 percent chance chance of having a child or conceiving a baby that would be either resource negative or positive meaning that your child can actually be resource negative or positive you never can tell you never can say you really don't have um any power over that so if you conceive a baby that is resource positive and you as a woman you're resource negative um there's every possibility that there would be resource incompatibility so the effect of resource incompatibility is the fact that your body you that are negative as a woman your body produces antibodies that fight against the baby so don't forget the baby is positive you are negative so your body in the bit to try to defend you you know builds up antibodies and then the antibodies passes and that's the baby's bloodstream to attack the baby so eventually it can actually cause like brain damage in the baby even when the baby is in your womb um it can lead to a miscarriage and abortion you know it can lead to an ectopic gestation um the baby might develop joint this and you can actually lose the baby like the baby can actually die from that so it is a very very risky pain you know not to know you can't you can't say you're ignorant of some of these things so um in this kind of situation you can still get married so no one is saying oh because your resource negative as a woman and your husband is resource positive um no one is saying you both cannot get married you both can actually get married but the essence of this kind of teaching is to ensure that the moment you get married you see your ups and gain so that you'll be given necessary um attention and most times um for the woman you would be given an injection a drug let me just put it like that and um it's called rogam and basically another name is um, the resource immune globulin and what this does is it prevents your body from producing those antibodies that would fight your baby so that's the essence of knowing your resource factor even before getting married so you know that the moment you get married or even before you get married you would have seen your doctor who would tell you what to do and what not to do the time you're meant to have the rogam and because um, you, you're meant to have it at correct times if you don't have um, the rogam at correct intervals or at the correct time your body would eventually develop those antibodies and once your body develops those um antibodies there's really nothing you can do those antibodies will still end up fighting your baby whenever you conceive and um that way you can actually be predisposed to multiple miscarriages and then you're wondering why you're having miscarriages upon miscarriages you know why your body cannot hold on to a baby this is probably the reason so guys before you get married ensure that you know your resource factor just check your blood group once you check your blood group it comes with the resource factor definitely so if you're negative you know that your resource factor is negative that's the best time to see your doctor even before getting married of course you can still go ahead and get married but make sure that you see your doctor who will tell you the right drug to take when to take it and then they can actually monitor you closely um so it's not really about the blood group itself it's much more about the resource so lastly guys there are three other um tests that i feel that they're actually needed um before you get married i'll just group them together and that's hiv hepatitis b and hepatitis c and of course maybe hepatitis a but um hiv hepatitis b and hepatitis c in my own opinion and this is because these are viral um, diseases and um, because they are transmissible through intercourse of course when you get married you'll be having intercourse of course what else will you be doing and um, it will be so unfair for you not to know your status you know before getting married and some people deliberately even know their status and will choose not to tell the other person about their status I feel this is not just right I feel this is this is just unfair but some people genuinely don't even know their status so imagine you, you never knew your status and um, you're getting married to someone and you eventually contract this virus you may not even know if you got the virus from this person or if um, you've always lived with this virus so it's better before you get married to also check if you're HIV positive or if you live with any um, 
any form of um, hepatitis is just very essential and guys even if you live with this or your partner your husband to be your wife to be lives with any of this um virus this is not a yardstick to end the relationship now even with people living with that virus they can get married without you know infecting their partner you know there are a lot of people who are hiv positive and are married to people who are hiv negative and um, once the viral load is actually very low once they're taking their medications regularly you know the only thing they need to do is to be compliant with their you know with their drug regimen with their treatment regimen they need to observe all the precautions all the necessary precautions once they're able to do that the chances of actually infecting their partner is actually very low so don't say because someone lives with a virus and then you say oh you end the relationship except the person has been hiding it from you but if right from the onset the person was very open to you told you that they're living with this virus and that virus i believe that there are ways you can manage it without you getting infected or without you contracting the infection from your partner so guys for now i feel those are like the five major medical tests that should be done before you you will get married guys if you have any other contribution please just drop them in the comment section if you feel there are other medical tests that i i forgot to mention um in this video just drop them in the comment section and um i'm sure people who are planning to get married soon will be in the comment section also reading those comments i'll also be reading those comments guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to please like my video don't forget to click on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever i put up videos on my channel don't forget to share my you know my videos with your loved ones and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys.